A Little Mouse at the Opera. Un Opéra de Paris podcast, sponsored by Jacadi. Oui! Go on, Léon! Act go higher! One. A mouse fallen from the sky. I'm not even cold, and not even scared. Well, maybe a little, but only a teeny tiny bit. Oh la la! Over there, the awful tower! Léon, do you see how ginormous it is? That little mouse flying over Paris for the first time was me, Lucy. Everyone calls me Little Lucy, but you'll see, Leon. One day, they'll say Lucy, the great ballerina. Look, I'm already bigger than everyone. I'm bigger than those tiny humans down there, with the tiny cars and their tiny bikes. <laughs> Holding on tightly to Leon's back, I flew happily towards my destiny. The morning sun sparkled beautifully on the Seine. But it was in the river and its bateau mouche that I dreamed of every night. I couldn't wait to discover another Seine, another stage. The stage of the Opéra de Paris. We were already flying over the Gare Saint-Lazare. Our destination was near. No train for me! I'm traveling with Léon Airways, the best airline in the world! Léon, the pigeon, had completed a perfect landing on the roof of the Palais Garni. We had just touched down on one of the world's most famous opera houses. Okay, thank you, Léon. I was delighted, but also a little afraid. <gasps> We're already there! Yes, it's here! We're really here! There are strange people on the roof. Let's hide, Léon. They're everywhere. Look, they're giant humans with strange colors. Some are even golden and some have wings. Why aren't they moving? Where are you going, Léon? Come back! Don't leave me alone with these monsters! Léon! I'd never seen a statue before, and there were huge ones on the roof of Palais Garnier. The one holding a golden lyre was Apollo, the Greek god of the arts. There was also Pegasus, a very impressive wigged horse. Then there were statues covered in gold representing harmony and poetry. If I tiptoe like this, quiet has a mouse, maybe they won't see me? I need to get in, but all the windows are shut. All I need is a tiny mouse hole to sneak in. What's that? Ah! Help! One of the monsters is moving! Surrounded by a cloud of smoke, Help! a terrifying figure walked straight towards me. Help me! All come back! Come and get me! Oh, no. I was getting ready to die, but the terrifying figure walked past without even looking at me. Yeah, that's it. Go away, you strange monster! What? Bzz. Oh, hi, little bee. How are you? How many of you are there? Like a hundred? Do you want to get in as well? Oh, you live here on the roof? There are several hives on the roof of the opera house. The honey is delicious. I tasted some once in the singer's dressing room. The scary figure was just a beekeeper. He was wearing a special suit that covered his body and head to protect him from bee stings. He'd had the good sense to take care of these hives. But especially, he'd left the door open. Gone, roof giants. You keep on playing statues, but without me. Oh, la, la. Wow, it's big in here. Oh, the music. If I follow it, maybe I'll find the ballet dancers. Maybe if I go this way, that way. Oh yeah, I think it's that way. Maybe this way. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Mm, this way. Oh. Yes, 
It's here! There they were. Even more beautiful than I had imagined. All their movements are pretty. It's precisely what I want to do. To draw music with my body. <laughs> oh, and when they jump like that, they look like they're going to fly away. Like Leo. Except that they're much more graceful. The ballerinas are putting on special shoes for going on point and their tutu. Oh, I love it. I was amazed and very impressed. Great pirouette! And just with the step, pirouette, arabesque, arabesque. One, two, three, four. Wow! How did this spin so many times? I let myself be carried away by the music. Carried away by the music, I'd forgotten that I was a mouse and was supposed to hide. the carpentry workshop, I entered the couture workshop and, out of breath, I hid in the folds of a piece of fabric. The fabric I hidden in was being soon... Oh dear! Quick, quick, quick! I fled before I was soon too. I'm safe. But my paws had barely touched the ground when I was lift and carried away. A big rat had caught me by the scruff of my neck and was taking me to the costume store room. What's all this? Uh, you mm. are barely bigger than a thimble and you're causing havoc in my opera house. Uh, listen carefully. Tiny mouse with your teeny ears, you are in the most beautiful opera house in the whole world. You understand? Everyone here works to manufacture beauty. You're causing a disturbance. Oh, yes, it's beautiful, really beautiful. Uh, are they the real costumes that were on stage of the auditorium? The... Wow! Listen, listen, I've lived here for years without anybody noticing me. Oh. But you, you've just arrived and everyone's chasing you. Keep going and they'll bring in the exterminator. You shouldn't be here. Do you hear me? Shoo! No, I won't shoot. The, you won't shoot? What, what about? You know, being grumpy all the time is bad for your health. Don't worry about my health. It'll be fine once you're far from here. Uh, what's your name, Mr. Grumpy? My name? My name is Lucy, and you? Me, my name is Luca. Oh, hello, Luca. No, goodbye, Luca, because you're leaving no, now. No, uh, can you give me a guided tour, Mr. Grumpy Rat, please? Say yes. What I can do is walk you back to the exit. No. Come on, come on off we go. No, I want to stay. Way. Come here. No. Come. Go away. Come this way. Everyone always talks about the little rats of the opera, the pupils of the Perry Opera Ballet School. But I had decided that for the first time, there would be a little mouse of the opera. And he would be me. A little mouse of the opera. <laughs> <laughs> 
un opéra de Paris podcast sponsored by Jacadi, produced by Kitsuno with Lily Caruso and Corrado Inverniti written by Eve-Marie Boucher based on an original idea of Benoît Husson directed by Eve-Marie Boucher and Benoît Husson original score by Cédric Hermé Fully artist Benjamin Rosier and Nicolas Lockhart Sound editing and mix Nicolas Lockhart recorded by Nicolas Sacco Executive producer Benoît Husson Coordination Opéra de Paris, Caroline Brown, Aliénor Coutin, Anthony Deveau, Inès Piovesin, Winona Tate. <laughs>